If you happen to be anywhere near the airspace around Louisville, Kentucky, chances are good you'll see a UPS jet flying overhead. Hundreds of flights take off and land here at Whirlport every day. But that's not the only flying the company does. Just recently, a drone subsidiary was added. It's unlikely you'll see a UPS drone flying overhead anytime soon unless you happen to be at a few key locations where the autonomous flying vehicles are currently in use. The shipping giant's journey with drones started about four years ago. A humanitarian type project overseas was performed to first test out the technology. The measure proved successful, so company leaders looked closer to home to advance the program. Bala Ganesh of UPS's Advanced Technology Group explains. So the first use case we tested in the U.S. was flying, again, prescription supplies from mainland Massachusetts to an island off uh, the, of the coast. Now think about it, right? Here at that time, you had to wait for a ferry once a day to get that, those supplies across. So this was a huge change. Again, think about the customer needs where now you could on demand get, uh, let's say, an asthma inhaler if you need it, uh, just as you need it instead of having to wait for that next day when the ferry comes. Once the customer need was proven, UPS tested the technology within its own network using a driver augmentation model. Drones were launched off of modules docked on top of package cars, proving especially useful in rural areas. Around the same time, the FAA established a framework that allowed for drones to be used in a more sustainable fashion, and UPS was asked to partner with the government agency to help determine ideal use cases. Long story short, the idea is they let you do tests, which previously we are not allowed in a limited fashion, wherein it helped you test certain things, and, but it also helped the FAA learn because we were giving them data of what works, what didn't work. The first use case involved drones shuttling samples around a medical campus in North Carolina. The time savings realized by using drones instead of cars was significant. It worked, cut down the time from 30, 60 minutes down to five, five to seven minutes. Plus, there was a need. A customer says, this is important. This could be a life-changing event. We are willing to pay for this because this is something that's useful to us. The pilot program proved it could be a revenue-generating business, and the FAA eventually granted UPS the first full certification for a drone airline. Uh, now we're flying 10 flights a day. It's revenue-generating. We're looking at other locations now. We're evaluating other locations we have announced publicly to start expanding, to start uh, thinking through how we can take this forward. The process of taking technology forward can be a challenge for companies of all sizes. Technology changes so fast and the right projects have to be pushed ahead or dropped quickly to keep up. The Advanced Technology Group at UPS is tasked with making those decisions every day when it comes to the question of what's next for the shipping giant. So a lot of this is uh, dependent on moving quickly, testing things, and putting things on hold, either killing it or continuing to work on something that's more promising. So a lot of time we do up front is trying to make that quick evaluation. So uh, we have what we call our quick uh, yes, no, you know, no go, no go decision that we come across where we do a quick analysis of what the customer needs are, see the technology maturity, and then based on that make a quick call, is it worth it to take it into a, a test phase? And if it is worth it to take it to a test phase, we do a, a quick analysis that says, should we build it, should we buy it, should we partner with somebody, or in pieces, to start putting those pieces together. And typically, it's a combination of, of build, some building some pieces of it, buying some stuff, and then putting it together with some partners. In it. And these partners could be companies, existing um, show companies, it could be startups, or it could be even universities. Ganesh says the FAA has to gain more confidence in drones before we'll be seeing them on a regular basis. He estimates the company will be using the unmanned vehicles in more situations somewhere between 2021 and 2025.